Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Universe of Universes here on the channel. I am Norman Rhodes, of course, and um, today is SmackDown. We end off the week with some SmackDown. Before we go into the next week, we're on the road to payback. So what is going to happen here on this episode of SmackDown here tonight? Let's find out right now. Oh my god, there's a main event for you, but let's talk about the opening match. Oh boy! Kevin Ash and Goldust, Gold Diesel. They will face off against the Superman of Eric Rowan and John Cena. John Cena. We, we have to say his name like that when we uh, talk about John Cena. Then Savio Vega, we, we know this, continuing from uh, Extreme Roles. Sami Zayn, Savio Vega, who's the best dancer? between the two we should put a poll up on the uh on the uh twitter that that talks about this Sami Zayn and Savio Vega and then in the next match tag team contest here Colin Cassidy Rikishi too soft against JBL and Honky Tonk Men of Classy they are going uh to duke it out and Seth Rollins will face Von Dongo you have to say it like that too, because he gets really angry. Look, I mean, look at his face. He gets, he looks like he gets really angry for no reason. Anyways, our truth will face a very old man and Ric Flair, and in the main event, as you saw earlier, Brock Laser, Bork Laser, will face off against Cesaro. Yeah, this is going to be exciting. Let's get into the action. And move that SmackDown thing. Here we go. We are in Washington. Uh, we're in Washington D.C. Woo! We're in that. There are your tag team champions and Gold Diesel, Kevin Nash, or should I say uh, Diesel, and and Goldust. And look, Goldust embracing, embracing the tank top. Look at him. Oh wow, he is kind of ripped underneath all that. I mean, we've seen him in the bodysuit for so long, and then all of a sudden we see him. But they're saying, why am I just reacting to this? Terrible of me. Very terrible of me. What is wrong with me? Oh my goodness. There you see. Goldust with his, um, well, I mean, he's a very movie type person. So, you know, he likes holding stuff like that. The little board thing. I forget what you call it. Look at them with the tag team championships around their waist. Here comes the Superman, and one reason why they're called Superman because, I mean, mainly because of John Cena and Cesaro, and yeah, we're calling him Cesaro. Cesaro, by the way, it's going to be in action later tonight when he when he paces, when he faces Bork Laser, Bork Laser. That's going to be something else. Maybe a lot of suplexes. I don't know. It, it seems like every match Bork Laser is in. He he has a lot of suplexes that are German and they may be a little racist I don't know there is Diesel Big Daddy Diesel let's get this match underway here one-on-one -on -one, uh, contest here between Rowan the two big men of the of the two teams here as you can see just biting Kevin Ash to open up this match not gonna stomp on him Rowan getting an early Advantage here at the moment. Clubbing him on the back. Going to pick him up now and going to get reversed there and thrown over the top row by, by Diesel, Kevin Nash. Big Sexy, Big Daddy, whatever you want to call him. I'm going to call him Kevin Nash because that seems easy. Or Diesel. 
I mean, they are called Gold Diesel. So. And now, right now, sending Rowan to the ramp. Going to kick him. Now I'm going to stomp on him. Remember, there are count outs in this match. Picks him up. Wait, went for a body slam there, but he reversed into a back suplex onto the ramp. That's got to hurt. That's got to hurt a lot. It hurt me just to watch it. Oh, Rowan was coming back out, but Nash wants no part of that. Rolling back in the ring now, Eric Rowan. Oh, it's going to grapple up here. Dragging Nash over to the, the rope. Come... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Back body toss by Mr. Rowan. Oh, my God, the headbutt. Headbutt was real. It was really real. Look at John Cena with his arms crossed, looking like an Arabian soldier. Maybe he is. I, I heard he really likes anime. Anime is his favorite. I don't know which anime is his favorite. I'm going to guess Cowboy Bebop. I mean, because who doesn't like Cow If you don't like Cowboy Bebop, we can't be friends. Oh, another headbutt there by Eric Rowan. Going to get off the subject of Animu. Back to this match. As he stomps away on Kevin Ash. Has him in a kneeling position, now standing. Throws him right into the corner. And a back elbow. Kevin Ash <laughs> evacuating the ring. Getting away from Rowan, and he is very frustrated. Pointing at him, he's so frustrated. Look at him. That's actually pretty cool. Within this game, that's that's actually pretty cool with uh, the wrestlers doing that. The wrestlers. Oh, a headbutt of his own. Kevin Ash with the big boot. With the boot. Boot to the face. Boot to face, hey boy. Oh, kick to the back of Eric Rowan. Referee got up to five and now both miss six. Rowan gets back in on six. Wait a second here. Pump, handle, slam. Rowan picking him up. Oh! Went for that spinning back kick. Wasn't that successful on Kevin Nash? Had that very well scouted. He is a veteran. He is a veteran in this business. Oh, dropped the leg on the arm of Kevin Nash. Maybe trying to make that uh, jackknife powerbomb less effective. Two, kick out by Nash. One time I heard um, Rowan had a IQ that was really high, and I still don't believe it. I don't. If he does, it's beyond me. Kick out by Rowan. Over to the ropes. Throws him over. And what is Nash planning to do? Apparently nothing. Just wanted to look at his really red. Oh, wait a second. Oh, reverse suplex to the outside. Holy moly. What a cliche there. Holy moly. What what mole is holy? Wait, never mind. Don't 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 tell me. Don't even show me a picture. And before someone does. A holy mole. Ew. Ugh. On the outside as the referee is counting. Kick by a Rowan and both men. Back in the ring here. Wait a second. Gut wrench. Slam. Oh no. <laughs> gut wrench. Gut breaker. Knee to the face there by Eric Rowan and a and picking him up and one and, 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 and all that stuff. Oh, wait a second. Full Nelson slam by Eric Rowan. John Cena's really hyped. Hooking the leg. 
One, two, three. No, shoulder up at the last possible second for Kevin Ash. Rowan, very, oh, wait a second. He was flailing around there for a second. Jackknife powerbomb. Hooks the leg. One, two, shoulder up by Rowan. Kevin Ash, I think, took big advantage of the flail job of Eric Rowan and turned that into a jackknife powerbomb, but it's not enough to put him away. And as you can see, Rowan being punched right in the stomach. I was gonna say taking control back, but he got punched right there in the stomach. There's a nice snapmare. And now we're into a chin lock. Resting here for Kevin Ash. Let's it go. Oh. Oh, arm breaker reversal there by, by Rowan. Rowan going to pick him up now. Over the body of Kevin Ash. And now, what is... Oh, God. What a right hand from Kevin gonna drag him out now hoping that he just delivered the KO punch and the shoulder up there at the last second Kevin Ash really wants to oh boy has him by the throat here he's up and choke slam with extra authority sauce Oh, off the ropes, big boy slam. Big boy press, one, two, no. The three count was not real. Has him up, oh, fall away slam. I'm oh, going for the pin, one. Two, three, no! Wait a minute! What a match here to open up the show. To open up SmackDown. Off the ropes. Kick right to the face. Has him in the corner now, and what is, what is Diesel, what is Nash gonna do here? He's on the third and final rope. Oh, what is? Oh, fall away slam from the top rope. Oh, and a stomp right to the midsection. Kicks him back down. Picks him up. And Kevin Ash on a roll at the moment. Back to the chin lock here, trying to slow it back down. Oh, wait a second, a jawbreaker. On to Kevin Ash. And Kevin Ash, too slow with a big slam from Eric Rowan. Eric Rowan, what are you doing? Oh, pulling, pulling him away from the ropes here. Referee out of position for one, two, three. And that is all she wrote. The Superman. Eric Rowan, John Cena, getting a, a, a victory here tonight, a big victory over the tag team champions, or one half of them. Well, I guess you could just say the Superman getting a tag team win. Getting a win over Gold Diesel in the sense, you know, this wasn't a tag match, but still. Look at this pin right here by Rowan. And that only got two. 
But this one, this is the fall away slam that Diesel thought was going to put away Rowan, but of course they will not. It will never do that, I don't think. But it was really close. But then this move here, this big slam. It's like he almost could have speared him out of the sky with this move. But he, he didn't. And you can see, look, Goldust on the outside trying to get people to their feet to to spirit bomb Eric Rowan. But never mind, because look at that. The oldness of one Kevin Nash. Not good enough. And there it is, the winner. And Rowan is like, no. He wants to celebrate on his own. I mean, Cena's on the outside, but eh, whatever. Next match. So we saw at Extreme Rules that Zayn got the best of Savio Vega and was ready to be declared the best dancer out of the two. But Savio Vega was very salty and wanted to continue this for another four weeks, five weeks. So that's why we are here again with Sami Zayn, Savio Vega. As they continue to try to figure out who is the best dancer? I still think it's Sami Zayn. You know, not to be very biased or anything, but I think it is Sami Zayn. And anyone who says different is a liar and a cheat and should be executed um, by Tickle. And apparently Sami Zayn still got it. He's, he's still got it. I don't think he's ever lost it. <laughs> I don't think he's ever lost it, but all right. We'll go with that, baby. Mm -hmm. Sami Zayn waiting on the guy who continuously gets salty about his dance skills. And that is so anyone's dance skills for that, for that matter. His steam at the beginning, it sounded like someone farted. There is Savio Vega. He is here. He is ready to do stuff. He is a Savio Vega. And apparently he's a good dancer, but who knows? I mean, again, out of the two, he's smiling right now, but this man is all business when he gets in the ring, but he's I don't think he's that great of a dancer. And oh wait, look at look at the dance moves. See? See, the execution, very sloppy. And I don't want him to hear this. Because if he hears, he might try to come over and attack me and I don't want that to happen. There is Sammy. There is Savi. Let's get this match underway. A tie up here in the middle of the ring and Savio Vega quickly pushing Mr. Sammy Zayn to the corner. A clean break there. Kick, kicking people. We're kicking each other now. Oh, wait a second. Oh! Elbow right to the face. Oh, God! Jawbreaker. My Sami Zayn. To the corner. Oh, to the corner. To the ropes. Has him up. Nope. Up and over is Savio Vega. And I mean, these two have faced each other so much that they should know everything they each other do. What an arm drag, by the way. Go to the leg of Sami Zayn, trying to break his dancing legs. Oh God, what a jawbreaker. Trying to mess up that, that face of Savio Vegas. Oh. 
Snap to play. Club to the back. Wait a second here. Sammy has him up. What a driver. Reach no good driver there. Right to the butt. He held his butt for a second. Sami Zayn turns around. What a moonsault from standing position. And Sami Zayn taken down. Oh, wait. Sami has him up. Oh, God. It's like a brain buster. It's like a mini mall. I would went for a pin right there. Oh, kick right to the back of Salvio Vega. Uh, takes him down. Oh, boy. Big move there by... Sami Zayn and Sami Zayn. Oh boy, here it is. Blue Thunder Bomb. Hoping that's enough to put him away. Two. And he kicks out at two. Uh oh, Savia. Almost caught him. Salvia. Suple. To the ropes here. Oh, what is Sammy? What is Sammy waiting for? Sammy off the ropes, over the ropes. Oh my God! Flipping, such speed and agility by Sammy Zayn over the top rope, taking out Savio Vega. Oh, drives him right back into the into the barricade. Fireman's carry by Savio Vega. And now Savio might be looking for the cheap way to get a win here. Referee's up to six and both men back in the ring. Savio turns around, Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn to the ropes. He comes back, back body toss by Savio Vega. Kick there by Savio. And maintaining on the attack here, Savio Vega. Oh boy. Northern Light Suplex. Two. Three. Oh my God, how close that was. Uh-oh, here we go. Try to put him in a, a, a headlock, but no. Oh, there it is again, that Northern Light Suplex. Sami Zayn has him up here one more time. Blue Thunder Bomb! Blue Thunder Bomb, two! Three that time he got him. And the best dancing man continues continues his his, his streak over Savio Vega. Oh and now the two gonna brawl it out here in the middle of the ring. Over the top rope he goes. Again the saltiness of Savio Vega getting the best of him. He cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I can't believe he just tried to attack Mr. Sami Zayn again.
Well, there you see. Oh, wait a second. Wait a John Brown second. As you saw, Too Soft making their way to the ring for this tag team contest. And then all of a sudden, you, you, you see this despicable act by class. This is not classy at all. They're called classy, and they just did this. This isn't classy at all. I know I just said that, but this is 100% not classy. Where did Honky Tonk Man go? <laughs> he, he is a culprit in this. And too soft, just, just now taking control here on the outside. Oh, big clothesline from John Layfield. This match has not started yet. <laughs> it has not. This. Where is Honky Tonk Man? It's like he disappeared out of nowhere. Like he was teleported out of here. You can see the whelps, by the way, on Layfield's, uh, Bosoms. <laughs> That's what he has. He has bosoms. He doesn't have pecs. He has bosoms. Rikishi picking up Layfield. And I'm still wondering where did his tag partner go? You hear the reaction of the of the fans here and Oh god, what a slam! Right into that hard area. I don't know what you can call that. Oh God, belly to back suplex. This is supposed to be a tag team match between Too Soft and Classy, but it's like we're not gonna see it here. At least at the moment, it has not started. They've just been double teaming, and, and Honky Tonk Man has just completely abandoned his partner. You know, if I was John Layfield right now, I would, I would be livid. Down to the shin of Layfield. Rikishi's in the ring now. And he just comes right back out like that has anything to do with it. And wait a second. Oh, that was supposed to be on the barricade, but this game is crazy. This assault continues. I mean, they kind of asked for it. And I mean, he asked for it far after. Oh God, that was right near the step. The steps. The steps. Where is Honky Tonk? Help your partner. Oh, a double team there by Too Soft. Belly to back. Oh, God. Right into the still post. And now they're just work. Oh, wait, did I just see a foot? Honky Tonk has been on the apron. 
this whole time. What is this? And now the bell is rung after all the damage has been done to Layfield here, to John Layfield, and now to Soft. Probably feel really proud of themselves, but then again, we can't really blame them for something that, oh, what a DDT. What a DDT by JBL, John Layfield. John Layfield. He's gonna tag in his partner who just left him high and dry. He's like, you take care of these guys. And Hunky Tonk is now in. Oh, Tree of Woe. That's a very tall man. Look. How do you put Big Cass in a Tree of Woe? Like that. Rolls him over. Honky Tonk. Going up top here. Oh, double axe handle to the back. Rikishi saying, hey, you can do it. You can do it. Into the corner. Turns him around. And another ice trip to the other corner. He didn't like that corner. That, that corner smelled. The fist drop from the top rope. One, two, three. Wow. Classy. Classy taking full advantage of what they've just done to, to actually get a win here. Look at this. This is the finishing blow. We just saw Classy come in here, attack too soft, and then this happened. In such quick succession here, ladies and gentlemen. And look at the teamwork here by John Layfield. Even though he was abandoned during most of that attack on the outside. But there it is. Classy. Picking up the w the win. Picking up the victory here. Against Tussol. Oh my goodness. And all it took was one fist drop off the top rope to do it. To get rid of him. To make him feel stupid. Let's get to that next match. Here we go. Seth Rollins and Fandango. What does Seth have in store for us here tonight? And oh, oh my. What is he, a Chicago Bear now? <laughs> Look at that. Usually he comes out here in white, but tonight he's coming out here in... I guess that's a, a dark navy blue and orange. So I guess he is the Chicago Bears. Anyways, Chicago Bear Rollings. With uh, I want I wish actually he would have dyed his that little streak there orange as well. That would have been critical. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll do that. I don't know. Maybe he will. I would like that. That would be pretty cool. There he is. He is a Barrett's fan. For those who don't know. Yeah, Seth Seth Rollins is a Bears fan. So this this makes 100% sense. This makes 100% sense. Yes, that's what I was trying to say. And I think this is the No, it's not the first time. I don't think it's the first time. But here comes Fawn. 
Dongo. He's facing a very dangerous individual in uh, Seth Rollins. And I'm he's gonna you know what? Here's a man next to Sami Zayn. Very good dancer. He he is I would say he is way better than Savio Vega. And Savio Vega may highly and or strongly disagree with that, but I mean just look at the moves of Fandango. Look at him. Look 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 at that bod. I want your bod. You remember those commercials? Bod commercials? Is that still a thing? Oh wait, he's stopping. Oh look at that! With such grace, such style and grace, like Stephanie McMahon. Oh look at that! Style and grace again. And, and now he's inviting Seth Rollins to get in a ring and dance with him. I don't think he wants to do that. I think he wants to curb stomp him. And there is Seth. Seth Bears. <laughs> the spin. Oh, look at that. Tie up here in the middle of the ring and forcing him right to the ropes immediately. Clean break. Oh, what a drop kick from Fandango. And Fandango in control at the moment. Has him up. Suplex. Neckbreaker there by Fandango. Going to pick up uh, Seth Rollins. Seth Bears. Bad News Bears, Seth Rollins. And Rollins off the ropes here. Oh, single leg drop kick. Oh, too close to the ropes, so he had to break it. That man in the blue shirt in the crowd, really not happy with Seth Rollins or his Bears attire. Probably hoping it was Redskins attire. We are in DC. Oh, look at that standing shooting star press. Standing shooting star. And he picks up Fandango. Oh, rake of the eyes. Seth Rollins, everybody. Oh, has him up here. Back to play. Neck breaker there by Fandango. Going to the second rope here. At the top. Oh, he rolls out of the way in time. Oh, right to the kidney. Kidney shots there. Going to try again here. Or I thought he was. Oh! Michinoku driver. Turns him around. Oh, wait, no. And down go now. Nope. Now Seth. Full Nelson. Full Nelson driver. Hook up, no hook of the leg, actually. One, two. No. Hush chair. Has him up. Oh, face first into the mat. Oh, wait, what is Seth doing? What is Seth doing? And oh, God! Right off the top row, high risk, high reward. Oh, 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 Seth Rollins pulling off that big super kick. One, two, kick out by Fandango. Elbow. Takes him out here. Face buster, and that might have busted him open. I saw red. Wait a second, Seth Rollins with the deal. God damn it, Johnny. I blame Johnny for that. 
He did the dill. He did the dill. <laughs> Seth Rollins waiting. Oh, kick to the midsection. Patting him up. That double arm face buster, the pedigree. That should be all right there. Two. Fandango put away easily by Seth Rollins. Bad news, Bears. Seth Rollins. Look at this. The, the reversal go behind here by Fandango, and then Fandango tried, and he failed, and then Seth Rollins with the, I'm oh sorry, that was a dragon suplex. Went for that pin and only got the two count off of that, but ladies and gentlemen, we look at this coming up here. Avada. Kadavra. As he's going to drag Fandango, hoping he has him for the three here. But no. As he kicks out once again. But this, this is a move that no one gets up. Well, at least not Fandango. If you're like Stone Cold or something, you, you get out of it or rock or something. That big pedigree. And then, of course, one, two, Seth Rollins, bad news bears. Seth Rollins with a big victory here tonight. Look at that beat his chest. Look at those eyes, they're crazy, crazy eyes, man. Oh my goodness, look at this. I don't think we were expecting this. And look at this, Ric Flair gonna take full advantage of this. He's so old, he'll take anything. You know, he'll talk about bodacious tatas and all that stuff. Every time I turn around, I see bodacious tatas in my face. That is the best line I think I've heard from Ric Flair. Oh, look at that scissors kick. So R-Truth was making his way down to the ring here. And of course, R-Truth and, and Baron Corbin have been going after each other uh, as well. But tonight was supposed to be a match just between R-Truth and this man, the uh, living legend here in Ric Flair. And, oh, God. Right onto the barricade, he got caught up. And oh god, the head scissors. That Stone Cold podcast with the uh, Ric Flair was pretty interesting. And I have to watch. Oh, actually, no, I did watch the whole thing. Actually. Almost forget that I watched the whole thing. A lot of stuff he talked about on that podcast, which was really cool. This is what I, this is also what I like about Stone Cold. Oh my god, the low blow. Remember, this match has not started yet. That low blow, completely illegal. Completely illegal. Oh, yeah. Now the claw to the shoulder. The chops here from Flair. He's, that's his signature there, those chops. Oh, God, right on the shoulder of R-Truth. And you see him, Phil, he told him to get up. Shake it off, you hussy. When are we going to get in a ring here? This is not a false count anywhere match. At least not that I remember. Here we go. Right to the side of the, uh, the ring. And flare. Oh, God. Side of the ring again. Right back into that. He's just going to wear Flair out here. Oh, 
Up next is the main event while we are waiting for Flair to get properly put in the ring. Uh, poor Glazer Cesaro, 101. That's up next. He's really trying to get Flair back in the ring, but it is not happening. Oh, wait a second. Oh, thought he was going for a suplex, but never mind. It's like a DDT face buster deal. And Flair gets our truth in the ring. And now, this is the second match where we've had an attack like that. And now we are underway. Went right to the leg here to open up this match and go for a quick pin. Two. And, th yep, that's going to be all. All right. Well, then, that was something else. And look at that. Barrett Corbin coming right back out here. He knows what he did. And R Truth wants him. Looks like he's 25. R Truth wants him so bad. Well, that was a match. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the main event here of SmackDown. Hope you've been uh, enjoying SmackDown here so far. But Burke Laser, oh boy, look at all that pyro. He is a very destructive man, and he's going up against the world champion in Cesaro. I mean, I would be very scared if, um, you know, if I didn't, um, I would be very scared if I was in the rank with, uh, Pork Laser. I heard he has lasers that comes from his eyes. I don't know if we're going to see that here tonight, but, oh my goodness, if we did, that would be something else. He is the Beast Incarnate. He is the 1 and 21 and 1. He is a very intense man. And a man I'm very, very intimidated. Look at those eyes. They're barely open. For the second time here tonight, we hear the wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Hey, look. Look at it's the champion of champions. No. And it's Cesaro, he is the world champion. And at Extreme Rules, will he be defending that belt? We don't know. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I don't know. I don't know. But he is facing a tall order here tonight when it comes to a man like Bork Laser. Just imagine here. Things that could happen. Such machine gun from Mr. Cesaro. Right off the heels of that highly contested match. Match underway, main event of the night, Bork Laser and Cesaro.
What a German. Keeping it slow here and early going of this match. And, you know, this is false count anywhere. I wouldn't have expected that here in this type of match. But maybe that's what you got to do with Brock Lesnar because Brock still has a bit of that MMA blood in him. Oh, God, what an elbow. To the outside now, Borg Laser. Taking a breather, maybe? Remember, false count anywhere and Bork getting that neck breaker, back breaker type deal. Oh God. Right to the uh, now stay over here. Uh oh, and oh, he it looked like he was going for a German, but never mind. Oh, Brock has a chair. This is dangerous. Oh God, chair shot, another chair shot. Oh, right to the leg. Almost once again to the leg. Just gonna throw him around now. Something I've noticed with these. Oh God, what a German suplex. Something I've noticed with these uh, falls count anywhere matches. Hold on here, one, two. No, sir, not off the German. One thing I've noticed is that these matches always go to the outside, never in the ring. Two. Kick out there. <clears throat> or shoulder up there. Cesaro really holding his own right now against Brock Lesnar. Brock falling down. Brock tried for something there and Oh, very European uppercut out of nowhere on Bork Laser. Juan. Two, no, not enough. Lifting him up and connected very solid, solidly with that European uppercut, but it was not enough. And wait a second behind a German suplex. Oh, waiting for him again here, but no, poor Glazer able to get out of it. Snap suplex. Oh, now Brock. Brock is going to wait. He is stalking. He wants Cesaro to get up. Here it is. Cesaro, no. No. Cesaro gets out of it. Oh, oh, over, over the back. What is Cesaro doing? Oh, wait, Cesaro. He's going up top here. This is a crazy idea for Mr. Antonio Cesaro. Elbow off the top rope to the outside. Referee out of position. Running around. One, two. Kick out by Brock.
Kicks him down. Oh, wait a second. Oh, slams him down with the, this big takedown. Hook of the leg. One, two. Kick out at two. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second here. Submission locked in. I believe that's an arm lock, but no, right to the kidney. Oh, over him. Uh oh, and this. This could be it. Neutralizer. Oh, God. Right on the outside. Right on the outside. Has to take advantage right now. Here it is. One, two, three. And he survives the Beast Incarnate. Cesaro. Good gracious. Goodness, God almighty. He had to, oh, look at this. That that could have been dangerous for him right there. But there, that big, very European uppercut. We thought that was it. I thought that was it. That should have been it. I don't know too many men who kick out of that. But then you see. Uh, there you see Cesaro stalking his opponent here. Or. Never mind. He, that was, uh, Brock, put him down with that takedown, and this only got two. Not even a close three decision. Got out of that situation, ducked over, and said, "Now it's time to end this." I think he's trying to do this earlier neutralizer, and this is where he would turn him over, go for that one, two, three, pin. Cesaro ending off this episode of Universe and SmackDown this week with a big win over Borg Laser. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching this Universe episode. I want to thank you for subscribing or liking the video if you like it. Uh, thank you for coming to the channel. And of course, visit some websites here, theindysource.com, also geekcitadel.com. Dot com. Visit those two websites, show some support for them. Well, the end source is me, but show support for both websites. Show some support here by subscribing to get some video updates. Also, like this video if you like it. I would really appreciate it, of course. And, of course, share. Share with your friends if you like it as well. Share with your friends and all that stuff. But until next time, as always, take care of yourself. Goodbye.